everyone, Jedi Joy here from the Jedi Rich Show. So here is the Jedi news. We're moving to Panama. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, we're moving to Panama. Why? Uh, we lived there for a year in uh, 2012 to 13, was it? Or uh, Yeah, 12 to 13, 12 I think. 12 to 13, yeah. Yeah, for a year. So we have been there before, but I'll get into that in a second. But um, the big reason why we're moving is just uh, because of what's going on here in Vegas. It's just really um, crumbling, you know? It just says it, it's not looking good. It's looking like a sinking ship here because the casinos are closing, the bars closed again, but like some casinos are not even opening back up and some are closing. And then now they're talking about canceling the NFL and the Raiders was a big deal here. Um, all kinds of things. And we really loved Panama. Uh, we really did. I mean, uh, we just adored Panama. But then we got really comfortable here, so we thought, and we loved Vegas. So we never thought about going back um, until now. No, bottom line, it's just Vegas has literally become to where we say it'd probably be better in Panama. Not in a, not even necessarily a money sense, just an overall happiness. Yeah, you might not, even it, make the same amount. Financially, in I mean, I would say, you know, I mean, we could probably stay here, right? Yeah. I mean, to explain that, we're well, not running away. Well, it's actually, if anything, a little bit scarier financially there to think about that because it's a, we're in a foreign country and stuff. So, if anything, if we were just thinking of finances, we would probably stay here. Yeah, um, I think overall you'd do better here. Yeah, because there, there's so many, like, that's where our fear is. But that's the scary part is... Um, uh, we don't speak the language there. Um, we can get around and we'll learn it more as we're there, but we never fluently spoke Spanish. So things like getting apartments can be really scary. So we're a little worried, but Jai Rich has a lot of family there. So that's really cool. Um, so they will help us if we ever need with certain things like apartments and stuff. But it is definitely scary because when we lived there in the past, we just lived in hotels. Now we actually want to become citizens. Because Jedi Rich's mother is Panamanian, so we can become citizens, and we have land there on the Caribbean side, which we need to look into obtaining. There's a lot of little fun projects. And Jedi Rich's uncle, I'm going to do a casino there. Well, I, well, also, and the, and the re reason why I was really excited, I mean, she was excited because a number of things, because like what she mentioned about Vegas, it just doesn't make sense. Like, she wants to move somewhere. Um, I was excited she, she said Panama because because uh, for for the YouTube channel, I'm very excited to capture. I mean, it's the whole new environment to Panama City. You know what I mean? Yeah, and there's like a simplicity there that's really beautiful. Is what I'm really looking forward to. Um, of that, even though we're gonna be all about social media, there's a whole existence there that like is is isn't on social media or isn't anything. It's just it's just is what it is. Like. When you're there, like you walk outside and there's just people everywhere dancing. dancing. What about remember the parades yeah, the, every night? The parades, the carnivals. They're they're just they're Fireworks. really festive there, and we're gonna document all that because we're just gonna love it. We're gonna be like, look at us out here doing this. But that's they just do that on a daily basis all the time. It's so lively. It's so wonderful. Right. So okay. So what are some of the drawbacks of moving to Panama? Well, the huge drawback is that since we're going to a foreign country. Um, it's very difficult to get the things like we want to uh, uh, be able to get an apartment and when you don't understand the language that can be a lot harder than getting a hotel so that is the drawback and then the other thing I was very concerned about was the organics um, they probably won't have the same level of organics that we get here and that's very important to us but I feel like will be able to just eat meat options there. They, I am happier with some of their meat options there than even some of our conventional meat options in the U.S. from when we were there. I know they have like little, little stands of people that just make like homemade stuff, get like come from good farms. Everything is like even a little bit less uh, corporate in a sense than here. So there's not all the GMOs and all the steroids and hormones and all the crap because they're mass producing so much here that a lot of this stuff literally comes from like a local farm or something, whatever it may be. And there's so many stands that they just sell all this food that I feel a little bit more comfortable with that food than even our food here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Like even remember all those markets that you'd walk where they sold like vegetables and stuff? Yeah. Like don't you feel comfortable? Yeah, all those, oh yeah, all those little fucking outdoor markets. Yeah, versus like what we get here. And they had dirt on them. Oh yeah, like they just got it outside wherever, they, I don't even know where they get it. They go pick it in the morning and then bring it there. But it, it, it I don't feel like it's all as much of the GMO I stuff. think overall, I think we were happier in Panama, like living, even though we had more money and things here. Yes, yeah, even though like it's 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 tough living because it's um it's you're cramped. You're cramped. Crowded. And very small. Smaller places. Like this place is going to be a lot bigger than uh, what we probably will end up with there because everything is everything's really so. And every, oh, it's yeah, very moist. It's on the ocean. Yeah, so like uh, a lot of humidity, which um, you know has its good and bad things. Like and in some ways that's so cool because it's been so dry here, but in other ways that can be a nightmare. Like my hair in particular frizzes out like crazy in the humidity there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I'll just adapt. We'll see how my hair does. Yeah, his hair will probably actually be really nice. It's probably really curly, but mine, because uh, moisture gives your hair, it makes it curly. But if your hair's like wavy like mine, it just kind of becomes like, bleh. his would probably be really nice curls there. But um, the thing is, I like the simplicity of, I'm already, uh, when we first get there, we know what hotel to stay at. And I know that there's this really cool, huge, it's like a grocery store, department store. They got like everything in there right up the street. So we can just walk What's to get everything. It, we call it Machicheso, but that's actually not the name. It's not the name? <laughs> no. Is that it's, how it's called? We just, for some reason, started calling it that, but I was looking at it. It's actually a different name, but we call it Machicheso. Like El Mache. It's something different than that, but it's similar. But but the other store they have is El Rey. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, we got it. I looked at it. We were just looking at the map, but yeah. We always call it Machicheso, but I think it's actually a little bit different. But um, what's nice is it feels like going back to home because I feel like I already knew, like I was looking on the Google Maps and all of it came back to me of like, I remember all the streets. I mean, I remember the streets even before I looked on the Google Maps, but then I looked and I was like, oh my gosh, I oriented myself. Because we were there a year and I did a lot of uh, traveling while I was there, like to different places in the city. But we haven't been to the Caribbean side yet, so I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so grab the microphone for a second. Yeah. And then you hold it. But then tell us, tell us now, what, what do we need to do? Okay, uh, well, first thing is we're waiting for our um, birth certificates um, because we both had to order new birth certificates because a lot of our stuff was stolen, and including our passports, and when our, our car. car was stolen here in Las Vegas. But all of our pertinent documents were in there because, as you guys remember, we were moving, so I had this binder that had everything. It had the title to the car, it had our birth certificates, our passports, everything in one, our, our checking account info, you know, like your checkbooks and stuff, your old checkbooks and all that kind of stuff, in one binder. So someone got all that stuff. So we have to also get passports. That's our big holdup. Oh, but we found out that you can fly there pretty cheap but here's the thing we would have preferred to been able to bring stuff in maybe a car size <laughs> amount original, of stuff oh, wait, the original, plan. original plan was we wanted to get a car and drive there um, and load up a car but now we found out that the flights are really cheap so it'd be better to fly because we'd have to save up for a car you know and that could take a while but the other the bummer with flying is now we really are limited on what we can bring and we really want to bring all of our studio equipment and music equipment you know like well not all but as much as like we a, can I have, yeah, well, like a guitar a keyboard the you know the microphones the soundboards the laptops and all, but then we also need to bring you know everything that we need because we're actually moving there but, but we here's the thing do, we want to record the culture though. yeah and here's the thing when you're there you have to leave after six months. You have to leave for at least just a day. You have to leave the country of uh, some three, level. You or maybe it's three days. But you, you can leave. You can go somewhere close. Like you could go to uh, Costa Rica, or we could come back to the U.S. and grab more stuff. So we'll probably do that option. We'll probably come back here because we're gonna have a storage unit here. That's the thing. We're gonna put. We have a storage unit, but we're gonna put all the rest of our stuff in it that we're not bringing to Panama. And then when we have to come back. We'll probably grab some more stuff, because hopefully we'll have an apartment by then. So, right, right, right. Yeah, so that's really it. we got to get the passports. So it's pretty exciting. We um, already ordered the birth certificate, so we're waiting for those. So what do we have Once to those do? come, we have to so get the passports. what's the target date to leave? Probably. We'd like to leave in February of 2021. So this February. No, that's not the target date. That was the target date for driving. The target date. Try. Try. <laughs> Oh, oh that, that, you have to make fucking six or seven months worth of friend. 
Oh. Oh shit. Oh, hopefully no, we can get no, October first. So what's, 1st. The, what's the what's the target date we're shooting for? I guess we would like it to be October first, right? Yeah. So we're shooting for October first. Forgot about that. Maybe we'll go the same time as we did last year or last time. No. Hey, last time we left November. Thirteenth. Thirteenth. Or eighteenth. Eighteenth. Well, I was gonna say November eighteenth was my mom's day. I don't think we left on that day. No, we did because we had to be back on March eighteenth. Remember March eighteenth yeah. was when we. So had I guess to come we back. did leave on my mom's anniversary. Yeah, we're weird. weird. We're very close to, but yet yeah, we left around. No, I, I kept look. thinking it was like. We could look. We have around photos there. from that day. Seventeenth, I think it was like November seventeenth. That would make sense. Yeah, so it was like November seventeenth or eighteenth, twenty twelve, is when we went to Panama the first time. Yeah. And now we're planning on leaving hopefully October or November this year, 2020. All right, it's about time to go in. I'm getting a little hot. Okay. So we need to get our passports, which we're waiting for the birth certificates. We already ordered. Uh, we need to save money. Okay. And we need Target to of? get target date of hopefully October first, 1st to, depart. To, to get out of here. To depart. To, to depart, to be on a plane. So it's all dependent on how long the passports take. Mm -hmm. So. And that's that's it. We'll check in later. We'll check in later. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We're going to Panama, you guys. Jedi are going to Panama. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.